Hi friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss about uh, DLN combustion, which is dry low NOx technology. I have received many comments and requests from my viewers that uh, we need to have a video on uh, DLN combustion versus standard combustion. What is the difference and why it is required? So let us understand very quickly the core concept of this uh, uh, DLN technology. So friends, I am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in uh, power plant different uh, domains like operation maintenance and in technical services also. And I create very small uh, fundamental videos, not lengthy one. And you can go and uh, watch those videos and get the fundamental concepts right. And if you need any further explanation, if you want any questions uh, to answer, you can ask in comment section. I will try to answer whenever I will find uh, suitable time. So uh, basic questions uh, regarding uh, the DLN. So why it is required? So DLN is required to reduce the NOx emission. So everybody knows that uh, uh, meeting to environment and norms is an essential thing which we should do. And that is why reducing the NOx is the essential requirement or statutory requirement we can say in uh, while operating any power station. And in gas turbine technology or gas turbine power plant NOx emission is a very high prominent issue because gas turbine firing temperatures are high and firing temperature is directly related to NOx generation. While if you see the coal based power plant where uh, combustion is there in boiler and then power is generated by steam, so there is no uh, very significant problem with NOx because you know the boiler the combustion temperature is little lower than in gas turbine. So here this problem is more uh, prominent, although it is there in coal based also, but here in gas based it is more prominent. Then what is DLN? DLN is a kind of uh, technology where which you can reduce the NOx. There are other technology also, but in this uh, video we will discuss about DLN, which is dry low NOx. So uh, uh, maybe few of uh, our viewers do not know what is NOx. Uh, uh, many of uh, you already know then also I am keeping here what is NOx? NOx, is the, NOx are the various oxides of nitrogen it may be NO2 or NO3 and small composition of other gases also and uh, once this gas releases into atmosphere it can react with other gases present or the moisture present and cause uh, uh, maybe uh, H2NO3 or uh, that kind of acid which may be very harmful. So we, we should reduce the NOx generation wherever possible. And why NOx is, how NOx is generated that uh, it is very uh, directly proportional to the temperature as your firing temperature goes up, NOx generation goes up. So what we can do if we can reduce the NOx, uh, the firing temperature a little bit then we have a significant reduction in uh, NOx generation. So the key is to reduce the firing temperature. And how we do it, let us see. So as I spoke about, there are many type of uh, technologies which are available to reduce NOx, but uh, we are taking a dry low NOx technology. And uh, in dry low NOx technology, what we are doing essentially is we are reducing uh, fuel content in that particular mixture. You are reducing fuel and mixing a lot of air at the entry of uh, combustion chamber. So you are mixing a lean, you are giving a lean mixture of fuel to air let me explain it more if you let's say if you uh, make a rich mixture then fuel will be higher air will be lower so higher fuel means higher combustion temperature in the combustion chamber 
combustion temperature uh, would not be uh, correct word but the higher energy in that particular chamber because air is not there to absorb so you can give air in a staged way not giving all the air at uh, entrance only so that your combustion is not happening at one point it is staged or it is while the flame is moving or while the combustion products are moving then air is there so the temperature is uh, combustion is happening in a staged way and that to all in the combustion chamber so that is how uh, the technology is there to reduce the temperature let me show it uh, with a graph or image so if you see in a conventional conventional uh, type of uh, earlier combustion chamber this air flow is and fuel it is mixing and only 30% of the air is going to the entire fuel so fuel rich mixture is there and uh, all of us know that our uh, this combustion liner has holes on that to pass there there are some metering holes there are some cooling holes but all those are passing air into the combustion chamber so 30% of air is there fuel full is there and 70% of is air are going from these holes so what you have you have a very rich fuel air to fuel mixture at the starting then you have a tendency to have a higher temperature is this in this zone so higher temperature means higher NOx. So whatever NOx, let's say we have generated at this point, but the fuel is same and the air is uh, fixed. So the energy output will be fixed. Now the same fuel and air combination we are, uh, only the combination we are changing, the total air and fuel will remain same. So you are starting a pilot flame pilot flame is a stable flame a small flame uh, uh, <coughs> is uh, started so that once you are giving a very lean mixture also then your flame does not stop it does not extinguish so you are providing a pilot flame direct uh, it is always uh, lit up and then you are providing a very lean mixture see you have given a 40 per 50% of air that means you have increased from 30 to 50 so that air to fuel mixture is lean now because of this lean mixture and air going towards uh, in the later stage also the combustion is uh, spread out and then you don't have uh, you uh, have a comparatively lower temperature because air composition is more with respect to fuel in this mixture and just to that uh, safety purpose just in case to avoid any flame extinguishing, you have a pilot flame which is always uh, lit up to uh, maintain the process so you see there is a air and fuel mixture the total composition is constant so the energy output at uh, the turbine in inlet would be same the difference would be reduction in temperature so reduction in temperature would lead to lower generation in NOx. So this is a core concept of this DLN technology. If you need anything in detail, uh, we can create a video on that also. But please uh, let me know in your comment section, did you like the video or you do if you want to have any further questions. I will create this video in Hindi language also for uh, uh, benefit to other viewers. Thank you. If you like the content, please subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.